Here in New York, religious leaders and parishioners continue to mourn the loss of Pope Benedict. CBS 2's Christy Kalishian heard from Cardinal Timothy Dolan, Bishop Robert Brennan, and more. Bells rung out 95 times at St. Patrick's Cathedral, each representing a year of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI's life, ahead of a prayer service held at the cathedral by Cardinal Timothy Dolan. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. The cardinal, who plans to attend his funeral in Rome, remembers him as a quick-witted man who was also a profound listener. He himself, being such a man of intellect and scholarship, also knew that his faith was tied to that and that, uh, that faith illumines the intellect. Benedict appointed Dolan as Archbishop in 2009. Three years later, he nominated him as Cardinal. That same year, he appointed Bishop of Brooklyn Robert Brennan as Auxiliary Bishop. After eight years serving, the then 85-year-old Benedict was the first pope to resign in 600 years back in 2013 due to his health. In the nearly 10 years since then, Bishop Brennan admires how he still served the Catholic Church. Sometimes he would appear at one thing or another, but by and large, he remained hidden and silent as a way of supporting the church through prayer, and that's real and genuine service. Parishioners also came out here to St. Patrick's Cathedral on New Year's Eve to remember the retired pope, who actually paid a visit here in 2008. Guy Daniel from Cameroon remembers Benedict's two visits to Africa as pope in the early 2000s. I think that he have made his road, he have made a great job, and now he's resting. We just uh, lit a few candles for, for him. That was like kind of a core memory for me, just watching the whole uh, changing of the Pope thing. His funeral will be on Thursday, January 5th at St. Peter's Square. At St. Patrick's Cathedral, Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News. And as Christy mentioned, Pope Benedict XVI visited New York City in April of 2008. To see a photo gallery, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.